BC to PI, which is equal to PI to PRC, right? And then you have a second tangent, which is from PRC to your PI2 for your second curve, and then from PI2 to PT, right? Okay, so tangent. What's the formula for tangent? Look in your notes. Radius. What is that formula? Radius, tangent, delta over, delta two. over 2. All right, so radius, tangent, delta divided by 2. We come in here and we see what we have. Do we have radius for the first curve? Yes, we do. What about delta? That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what we have. So tangent will be equal to the radius, which is 350 feet times tangent of delta, which is 70.5 degrees divided by 2. And how much is T? What's the answer for T? Now, what we're doing right now is basically the same we did before, Two right? 247.355. 247? Yeah. 3, 6, P. So we found tangent, right? Tangent, which is tangent 1, right? Which is tangent 1 which is the distance between my PC and my PI, which is the same distance between PI and my PRC. So now what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to replace that value here. So this will be equal to PI in station, which is to 1993.66 minus 247.36. How much is this? 1746.30. Perfect. Now, if I want this in a stations, will be a station of the PC will be equal to 17 plus. Perfect. Good job. All right. Any questions so far? It's kind of like the same thing, right? Now, when I ask you about reverse curves you know now that you have to start the same procedure as the same way that you do a simple horizontal curve. Now we go for uh, PRC. So there is a formula for PRC. And the formula is almost equal to the, the formula we had before for PT. So to find the point of reverse curve, we have to do what? We are on PC, right? So I'm right here. I know the station at this point. If I follow the curve, right, I'm going to get to PRC eventually. So if I add the length of this curve, which is length 1, to PC, I'm going to get PRC. So in this case, and I'm going to put this right here down, PRC equal will be to PC plus L1. Right? L1 being the length of the curve, of the first curve. So in order for us to find PRC, we need to find L for 1. So L1 equals 2. What's the formula for or length of the curve? Pi over 180 radius delta. Pi divided by 180 times radius times delta. Now, which delta would you use? The first one. Delta 1 and radius 1. <coughs> so or L will be equal to pi divided by 180 right, times my radius, which is the same, 350, for my first curve, times delta, 70.5, and how much is L1? What you guys say? 
36 feet? Much? 430.66. Yep. 430.66 feet. Perfect. This is the length of curve number one. So I come back in here and then I take this. This is PC, right? Now I take 17, 46.30 plus 430.66. What will be the coordinate? What will be the station of your PRC? 2176.96. What is it again? 2176.96. 21 plus 76.96. All right, so, so far it's been so easy, right? It's like solving one curve. The only, the only difference between the reverse curve and the simple curve is that we are changing the name of this point. Now, this is a common point between the two of them, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from here and get into the PT. So for me, or for us, to find PT, what's the formula that we need? PRC plus All right, L. Right, so we're at PRC. So we're two. right here. In order for us to find this, right, will be PRC, right? Plus L2. Plus L2. Perfect. We're here, we need to get to this point, we need to add the length of the curve, which is L2. Right? Question so far? What? That will give you the station on the PT, yes. So it will be kind of like the same thing. Can you see it? PRC plus L2 is what I put right here. So PRC plus L2. So now, in order for me to find the PT of this reverse curve, then I have to find L2. L2. So let's go back in here and then let's say, all right, so L2 will be equal to what? Pi over 180 times radius 2 times delta 2. Perfect. So now, we know pi over 80, what's my radius in 2? It's given 275 V. And now, what's my delta in 2? 40.00. Correct. Zero. Which is, if I pass that into a decimal, still 40, right? So 40 degrees. And so, how much will be L2? 191.99. 191.99 All right, so now I take this which is 21 plus 76.96 and I add to it 199.99 Which is 19 plus 38.29 Hmm. 19. Mm. 23. You're supposed to add that, right? Yeah. Yes. You're supposed to add L2, right? We add it. We, could, we yeah. add this. 2368. 23.68. 23.68. 0.95. 91. And this will be your PT station. PT station, and that's a reverse curve. We solve it. What is that's it? A reverse curve. This thing's badass. This thing's badass. Right? 26, 23, 21.68. Perfect. Mm. 